All right, in this video, we're going to walk through how to create our very own custom versions of Dolphin Llama 3 and Dolphin Mixtral. So that's what we're going to do in this video. So let's hop right over into the terminal and run a couple Olama commands. Okay, before we get started running commands in the terminal for Olama, if you're not familiar with Olama, check out the description down below. I have two videos on how to set up Olama on a Mac and Olama on a PC. So check those out if you don't have Olama already installed onto your computer. All right, so let's get going. I am going to type in Olama list. So you can see I don't currently have any models installed onto my computer. So the first thing I'm going to do is pull some models down. I know the first model is Dolphin and it's going to be Llama 3. And I'll let that run there. And I'm gonna open up one more tab here and I am going to download one more model here called Dolphin Mistral. And I am going to get the eight by seven billion parameter model and pull that down. So I'm gonna let these run and download into my computer and then I'll jump back over into the terminal and we'll run a couple other commands. Okay, I'm back in the terminal here and I am next going to run Olama list and we should see our two models that we've downloaded. I've downloaded the Dolphin Llama 3 model and the Dolphin Mistral 8 by 7 billion parameter model here. And we can see some different information about the model here. We can see the model ID and then we can see the size of the model. So let's jump over into the browser real quick to go over how you could go about finding these models if you're unsure. Okay, I've got the browser pulled up here and I'm at the olama.com website. This is what you'll be presented with as soon as you visit the website. Now, in order to find models, we'll go up here to the very top here and we'll select models. You can go down and browse for models if you would like. The easiest thing is if you know the name of the model. So for example, I know we're gonna be customizing the Dolphin Mitchell model here, and we are going to be customizing the Dolphin Llama 3 model. So that's how you go about finding models if you want to search for different information around those models. So let's go ahead and click here on the Dolphin Mistral model here. Now we can see some information around the model about who created it or the information that the authors want to put here. And we can see when it was last updated. And then other information around the model you can gather is, hey, we can see this from the Llama model family. We can see the parameter count and quantization here. Now I will call out here, you will need a sufficient GPU on your PC or running a M Mac or so Apple Silicon version of a Mac in order to run these models here. Now, this is a larger model, so you may struggle to run these larger models if you don't have the proper GPU power. Now, if you hang out to the end of the video, I'll show you how you can find out if you can run these models on your Mac or your PC. And then the next thing that we have here is around quantization here. We can see that it's a four bit model here. So the weights have been taken from 32 bit down to four bit in order for us to be able to run this on consumer grade hardware. Now we'll revisit these here later on, but we have information around template, the system parameter, and then the stop params here. Now we'll go over this when we're building out our custom model file. So we won't spend too much more time here on the Olama website. I just wanted to show you how you can go about finding models. So we're going to jump over into VS Code next and start customizing our model file. Okay, I've got VS Code opened up here with my custom Dolphin Llama 3 model file here. Now you could do this in text editor if you wanted to. I like to use VS Code for everything. It has an integrated terminal built in for me to run commands. Um, I'm going to run this video a little bit different than I normally do. Normally I'll copy and paste code over into the files, but this one we're just going to do really a review and we'll step through each line of this model file as I explain it. And then you'll also be able to download these model files here on GitHub. So the description down below will have these model files referenced in the GitHub repo. All right, so let's get going here on what's going on in this model file. So at the very first line here, we can see we have from Dolphin Llama 3 latest. So we're pulling the latest version of Dolphin Llama 3. Now this is our base model that we will be basing our custom model on. So you will have to have this line here in order for you to inherit the model weights into your custom models in the other relevant settings. All right, now this is where we jump into customizing the model 
So usually the temperature parameter is usually set to 0 0.7 or 0 0.8 for most models. Now we're going to set it to one here to make the model more creative for us. Next, we have our stop parameters. Now, if you don't enter these correctly, now when you start using your custom model, the output may not be as expected if you don't do this right. Now I'll jump over into the browser after we review this model file here and show you where to get all these values. So that covers our stop parameters here. Next here, now this is key here, the template dictate the output or the response that we get back from our custom model. Now, every single model's slightly different with its template. So for example, you wouldn't be able to use, for example, the Llama model template with the Mistral model template. And then again, I'll jump over into the browser after we review this file here on where we get these values from. And then the last thing that we have here is our system prompt or our system parameter. Now you can see I've set my system parameter here to say, you are a Blue Lama, a helpful AI assistant who can help me with math and coding related questions. So the system prompt gives you the ability to customize a little bit of personality into your particular custom model. So that's why we have that here. So that covers the custom model for the Dolphin Llama 3 model. Now let's open up our next custom model that we're going to cover here in this video. And that is going to be the Dolphin Mistral model. Now again, similar structure here, values are going to be different because we're creating our own custom Dolphin Mistral model. We're going to reference that here at the very top. Now we're pulling in the Dolphin Mistral eight by seven billion parameter model here. And then next, again, we're going to set the temperature to one to make the model as creative as it can be. And the stop parameters are the same. Now the difference here is the Mistral template is slightly different than the Llama 3 model template. And then our last parameter here in this model file here is our system parameter. Again, I just call this one Blue Mistral here. So that way, when we're interacting with the custom models, if I ask the model its name, it should reply with whatever we've set in the system parameter here. So that covers the model files. If you got any questions below, something didn't make sense, comment below. I'll try to get to your question as soon as I can. All right. So again, let's jump over into the browser so you can get a little better understanding of how I came about getting these parameters here. Okay. I've got the browser pulled up here and I have the Dolphin Mistral model pulled up. Now I want to briefly go over how you go about getting the parameters for your template and for your stop parameters. Now you can see here I'm hovering over the template setting here. Now what I'll do is click on it. Now we can see that the model creator here has given us the template that we can just copy and paste out into our custom model file. So that is what I did and how I got that value. And then the next value, how I got my stop parameters was I went to the params setting and I grabbed each of these values here and I pasted those in as separate stop parameters. And you will have to have separate stop parameters because this is in a list. So that's how you go about doing it for the Dolphin Mistral model. And the same thing goes for the Llama 3 model. If you want to get the params, the stop params, you'll go here and grab those values. Each model will be slightly different. These just happen to have the same stop parameters. And then the same thing here, if we need the template, we just go here, click the template and grab this value and paste it in our templates section in our custom model file. Now you know how to do that. Now let's go about creating our actual custom models based on our model file. Okay, we're back in VS Code here with our two custom model files pulled up. The next thing that I'm going to do is actually create the models based on our custom model file. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just list our models out that we have. We can see we have the base Dolphin Llama 3 model and the base Dolphin Mistral 8 by 7 billion parameter model. So let's go ahead and run the Olama create command here. And this allows us to create a new custom model based on our model files. So I'm gonna name this Blue Llama 3. And then I'm going to type in dash F to reference our model file. Again, our model file is called dolphin dash llama three. This is going to be whatever you name your model file. You can name it whatever you want. Be sure you're in the proper directory. And then I'm going to type in the model file. 
it has now successfully created our custom model. So if we run Olama list, we can see now blue dash llama three shows up. So now let's go ahead and create our second custom model, which is going to be based on Dauphin Mistral. So Olama create, and we're going to call this one blue Mistral. And then we're going to reference our model file. And it's going to be called Dauphin dash Mistral. And we're going to hit enter. And we can see we've successfully created our second custom model based on the Dauphin Mistral model. Now let's run Olama list here. Now we see that we have our two custom models here, blue dash llama three, and then blue dash mistral. But one thing I want to do, because I realized that I didn't name it how I want it to. So let's call Olama RM for remove. And then we're going to remove the blue mistral. I forgot to reference the size and the tag name of the model. So we're going to recreate that one there. And we're going to go here. And I'm going to call this one blue dash mistral eight by seven B. So that way we know the size of the underlying model that this is based on. All right, I'm going to click create. And now let's list our models. So now we can see we have our blue dash llama three model. And then we can see that we have our blue dash mistral eight by seven billion parameter model. So next, let's jump into testing the model. So I'm going to jump into a larger terminal window so you can get a better view of me typing the commands as the model replies back to me. Okay, I've got terminal pulled up here with the list of models that I have installed. And you can see at the very top, I have the Blue Llama 3 model and the Blue Mistral 8 by 7 billion parameter model. So let's go ahead and test out the first model here, which is going to be our Blue Llama model here. So I'm going to type in Olama run and put in the model name here. And then we should be presented with a prompt to actually send a message to the model. So now we can see, hey, we can send a message to the model. Let's ask the model its name. What is your name? And as expected, it says my name is Blue Llama because remember in our system prompt, that is the name that we gave the model. So this gives you a way to give your model a little bit more personality. We also tweak the temperature parameter, but let's also just ask it to create us some simple code. Can you create me a simple Python program? Make sure it's still functioning. So it created the simplest Python program that it could possibly create. So I'm gonna ask it, can you write some sample C sharp code. All right, so it's writing some C sharp code. All right, so we know that model functions that we've created. So I'm gonna type in slash by clear and list all my models again. So let's go ahead and test out the blue mistral model here. So I'm gonna type Olama run, and then I am going to put the model name in there and it should load for us here in a second. Okay, so the blue Mistral model is now loaded for us. Now we can send it a question. Let's ask it its name. What is your name? Okay, so we can see I don't have a personal name. However, you can refer to me as blue Mistral because that's what we set in the system parameter there. All right, so let's just ask it a question. Can you write me a short story? And let's see what we get. So it's printing us a story out here. All right, so we know that our model works. I'm going to stop it and I'm going to hit buy. So now we've officially tested the model out, but I know some of you may be struggling on getting some of these models to run locally on your laptop. And I know I said, if you wait to the end, I'll show you how you can check to see if your laptop or your PC or whatever you're running this on is capable of running these models. So that's what I'll jump into next. All right, I'm back and I've got a tool pulled up here called Can It Run LLM here. So someone in the Hugging Face community has created a tool for us to paste in the name of the model file and then locate the vendor for our GPU to see whether our computers can run the particular model file. Now, you will need to reference the Hugging Face models here. So you can go here, search for the model. I'm at Cognitive computations here and I am going to
copy the reference to that model file and go back over to this tool. Now what I'm gonna do is paste the model name here and hit enter. And then also I am going to go into the drop down here and select Apple because that's who made my computer. And it will sometimes depending on you know how much load uh, being put on this particular tool here, sometimes it runs a little slow. But we can see here, I can now select my GPU. I'm going to select in the drop down and go to the very bottom here. I am running a M3 Max with 36 gigs of RAM here. So I'm going to select that. And we can see over here, it says I can run inference. So that means I can make calls to the models. And I can also run full training using Atom, which is an optimizer when you're running training batches or training loops on models. And then here I can also use LoRa for fine tuning, which stands for low ranking adaptation. And so I can pretty much do whatever I want with this model because it's only 8 billion parameters. But if I go over here to the Mistral 8 by 7 billion parameter model, and now I'm going to go here and paste that here and hit enter. It'll take a few seconds here to load and it will give me a different result. So I can still make calls to this model here, but I cannot run full training because I don't have enough GPU power to run full training with the Atom Optimize. But I can do LoRa fine tuning here. I have the capabilities to do that with my GPU. So that's how you can check to see if your computer can run a particular version of a large language model. I'll put the links down in the description to everything that was covered in this video, the model file, which will be on GitHub, and then the links to any models in this particular tool here that you can use to test whether you can run a model locally. But you may be saying, hey, we've created new custom models here with Mistral and Llama 3. How can I use those in an application? Check out the two videos that show up on the screen. We'll teach you how to integrate Olama in your own custom chatbot. Again, thanks for hanging around to the end. If you like the content, hit like, subscribe. Again, I try to put videos out like this on a weekly basis, but thanks for hanging out with me and see you in the next video.